Did you really advocate kidnapping, Mr. Secretary? Mr. General Secretary, your visit has been an important success. It marks an historic stage in U.S.-Hungarian relations, which began with the return of the Crown of St. Stephen ten years ago. In your meetings with American government leaders, with leaders of both parties, and with businessmen, journalists, and others, you've exchanged on a, views on a broad range of topics. And we've been impressed with your openness to new ideas. We're encouraged by your recognition that economic reforms cannot succeed unless they are accompanied by political reforms as well. And this lesson has been demonstrated many times in the recent history of Eastern and Central Europe. We know that Hungary faces difficult economic and political choices. The decisions that you and your government will have to make and implement in the coming months will set the direction of Hungary's development over the next decade. We Americans regard Hungarians as a people of great talent, a people who have contributed significantly to America's own development. We know that in Hungary itself, the Hungarian people can better their society and their economy if the greater freedoms and reforms now being discussed are steadfastly implemented. From our talks, Mr. General Secretary, I believe that your intent on providing the kind of leadership that will give scope to the energy, ingenuity, and vision that Hungarians possess in such abundance. I hope you'll take with you some new ideas about America I hope you will remember what you've seen here about the strength to be found in a society that is free, in a society committed to upholding fundamental human rights, and open to diverse opinion and talent. You take with you our best wishes for success. We will be watching developments in Hungary closely and hope to continue working together for the further development of good relations between our two countries know that you return to the people of Hungary with the best wishes of the people of America. Uh, distinguished Mr. President, I thank you for your kind words honoring me and for the meaningful discussions we have just concluded. I wish to express my thanks for the invitation of the U.S. government, which, uh, and the program which has uh, provided my with it with richness in both work and in impressions. Nagy várakozással léptem több mint négy évtized után az első hivatalban lévő magyar miniszterelnökként az Egyesült Államok földjére. I had great expectations as I had set foot on U.S. soil more than 40 years after the last Hungarian Prime Minister in office. Most látogatásom végéhez érve elmondhatom, hogy azt hasznosnak, eredményesnek, országaink és népeink közötti kapcsolat bővítése szempontjából biztatónak látom. Now, as I approach the end of the trip, I can tell you that I consider it to be useful and successful and promising for the expansion of the relations between our countries and our nations. Örömmel ragadtam meg a személyes találkozás kínálta alkalmat arra, hogy tolmácsoljam a magyar nép nagyra becsülését elnök úrnak azokért a történelmi jelentőségű eredményekért, amelyeket az utóbbi időben Gorbacsov főtitkárral közösen a leszerelés terén elértek. 
I was pleased to take this opportunity offered by a personal meeting uh, to convey the high regard of the Hungarian people to you, Mr. President, for the results of historical proportions which you and General Secretary Gorbachev have achieved together in the, arm, uh, the area of disarmament. A Soviet American viszony, a nemzetközi légkör javulása, új lehetőségeket nyit a közepes és a kis államok számára is. Uh, the improvement of Soviet American relations and the international climates helps uh, the small countries in these areas. A magyar népköztársaság kormánya mindent megtesz, hogy csatlakozzon ahhoz a törekvéshez, melyet önök képviselnek. The, Hungari the government of the Hungarian People's Republic will do everything in its power to become part of the effort which the two of you, Mr. President, represent. Hazánk nagy feladatok előtt áll. Hungary has to face enormous tasks today. Gazdaságát. It will reorganize its economy. Vele, hogy ez csak akkor lehetséges, this can only be done, we are aware. Hogyha az emberek, az állampolgárok is több jogot, több szabadságot élveznek. If the people, if the citizens will enjoy more right, free, more freedoms. Ezért korszerűsítsék politikai rendszerünket. Therefore we are modernizing our political system. Politikai gyakorlatunkat. And our political practice. Ebben a törekvésünkben számítunk partnereinkre. In this effort we are counting on all our partners. A világ jó akaró segítő szándékú államfőire, vezetőire, népeire. The leaders, the statesmen, in fact the people who wish us well. Nagy öröm volt számomra, hogy találkozhattam az önök szép országában Magyarországról elszármazott magyarokkal is. I was very pleased to have had the opportunity to meet in your beautiful country Americans who have won, once come from Hungary. Öröm volt éreznem ragaszkodásukat az óhazához, miközben becsülettel szolgálják az Egyesült Államokat. It was so pleasing to see the close contacts and feelings towards Hungary at the, while they are very useful and able citizens of yours. Azon leszünk, we hogy will a kapcsolatok még, még szabadabbak, még boldogabbak legyenek. To make these relationships even more free, even more happy. Sok sikert kívánok Egyesült Államok népének, I wish the people of the United States much success. Jó egészséget, sok boldogságot az elnök úrnak. Happiness and good health to your president. És végtelenül hálás vagyok, hogy lehetővé tették ezt a nagyszerű élményt nyújtó látogatást. And I'm very grateful for making possible the marvelous experience hiszem, of my visit in this country. Hiszem, hogy minnyáján gazdagabbak lettünk tőle. I am confident that we have all become richer through it. Thank you.